welcome to a tutorial of Do Good, Drake's new platform for tracking community engagement across campus as well as in the greater Des Moines community. To navigate to the platform, you're going to go to drake.edu backslash du good. Once you are at the platform, if this is your first time, you will need to create an account and log in. To do so, you can either click this drop down arrow by the little profile emblem or you can simply click the word join. I already have an account, so I'm going to go up here and click login. Each time you log in, it will ask you to do so via your Drake credentials. So every student already has an account in the system. You just need to claim it. So if it's your first time logging in, you will have a few more steps than I do today to claim your account. Once you are in the system, then you also have the option to build out your profile. And so to do that, you're going to click the little drop down arrow. You're going to go to profile. And from there, edit profile. And this will give you the opportunity to add a photo and do all of these things over here on the left side. So you can build out your profile as, as detailed or as little details as you would like. Make sure to click the blue Save Changes button so that any changes you make are um are recorded the other key piece is the email address you will get a email from the platform platform is powered by a company called give pulse and so um, you will need to verify your email address with give pulse in order for um, this uh, profile to be finalized you go back up to the top you're going to see um, a little record here of the number of impacts, hours, and groups that I am a part of. This information is also tracked in the impact summary. So if you go to the profile dropdown, click summary, this is going to develop a service transcript over the course of the year. Any impacts that you log will be then tracked so that you have one place to, to download a report um, or print it. The activity dropdown is any activity that you as a person are doing on the Do Good platform. So for example, the groups you've joined, the classes you're a part of, any impacts you've logged or events you've registered for, you can get a go directly to one of these to then get the information related to that. So for example, I clicked groups. You're gonna see that I'm part of 17 groups on the system. It also will indicate which groups I'm an administrator for and otherwise just groups that I'm a part of. And if I want to, I can go directly to that group from this page. So now I see the Drake Little Free Pantries of which I'm part of the group, a little description, and if they have any upcoming events, I'll see that on this page. You may or may not have a manage tab depending on your role in the system. If you are an administrator, um, an event manager, a person who's maybe checking in volunteers to an event, then you would have a manage tab. And the manage tab then is any activity that you have management responsibilities for, um, you can access those through the manage tab as well as the list of groups that you are an admin for will show up at the very bottom. Explore allows you to find opportunities beyond just the Drake community. So you can search by zip code and by city. Um, you can search by groups or by events. Um, so this is on the, the national Give Pulse platform. So the place where we recommend that you do a search is actually back here on the Drake page. So if you click the do good icon in the top left anytime, that gets you back to what we call the Drake homepage. From here, you're going to see Drake a little description, who our primary administrators are, as well as any upcoming opportunities and events that have been shared directly with the Drake network. The other way to find those opportunities is going to be by clicking the opportunities tab. From here, you can filter and search for specific types of events or causes that you want to be affiliated with. 
both on campus groups like Next Course Food Recovery, as well as off campus partners like Hope Ministries or Unity Point, are able to post upcoming events and opportunities in the system. The Community Partners tab will give you a list of organizations that have intentionally affiliated with the Drake Network. Note, not all of them have opportunities listed, but you can always click into one. And then under the social tab is a link to their website. Many of our partners have their opportunities listed out on their website and have not transferred them into the do good system yet. So use that as a resource for finding additional opportunities that may not yet be in the do good system. Subgroups is where you're going to go to find the student organizations or other clubs that you are a part of at Drake that might be using the system to track student engagement hours. For example, all of the FSL organizations. Once you have come here, you're going to find your organization, click it, and then you're going to click the join button. That allows that group to know, hey, you've got a new person wanting to be a member. And then the admin of that group will, um, if it's a private group, will need to approve your membership. If it's an open group, you'll automatically be added. And lastly, I'm going to say a little bit about classes. There are a few classes that are using the Do Good system to log and track their impacts. So, for example, Spring 23, we have Management 135, which is a nonprofit management course as part of uh, their course. They are doing volunteer work, and so um, students have the opportunity to log their impact to their course. You can see through people. Who all is on the system? We have 835 people who have created an account on our system. And just since September of 2022, they have logged 442 impacts for a total of 891 hours. So this allows you to see and connect with the others who are part of our network.